Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel WWE Elite unboxing and review of Elite 89. Damian Priest, first time in the Elite line as we just recently had a basic version of him released uh, with the taped up ribs and all that kind of stuff. I am glad I did not pick that one up and I think Mattel messed up, they don't mess up on this very often, but they released that and then they announced this right on the heels. I always say if you're going to do first time in the line, in the basic line, which I think is very smart to do makes people buy those that normally don't buy uh just wait a little bit before you announce the elite but they announced them pretty close together so i said i can pass on that one i'll just wait for this one and by the looks of things i am glad i did as this looks like a tremendous figure uh in the package here and damian priest really taking wwe by storm current united states champion right now uh had a big match at wrestlemania with bad bunny and i like a lot of people out there i mean i'm just not in that bad bunny world i'm in the judas priest iron maiden motorhead black sabbath world is where i spent most of my time uh but i didn't know who bad bunny was like a lot of wrestling fans but uh that was a huge push for him that was a huge match for him and I got to be honest, I got to call a spade a spade. I never in a million years thought Damian Priest would arrive to the heights he is at. I remember watching him when he first started in Ring of Honor many years ago. And I remember just thinking of him kind of as like a poor man's Undertaker villain is kind of what he reminded me of uh, with his old gimmick over there in Ring of Honor. I felt like uh, he was big. He was. I could see people liking him, but there was something missing. I don't know if he still has that thing missing. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest Damian Priest fan. I'm not a huge fan at all. I, I do like the looks of this figure, though. But I would say he's come a heck of a long way from those Ring of Honor days. So kudos to him. Putting in the hard work, as they say out there. Uh, making it happen, getting after it out there. And that's what you got to do. But we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at old Damian Priest in the package. We got the WWE logo. Great, as we always say, for alerting grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, cousins that, hey, this is actually a WWE figure because that's what little Jimmy wants out there. He doesn't want those AEW figures. So you got to have that logo right there so people know what they're getting. Not everybody is like you and I that understand what this is right away. Uh, so then you got Damian Priest right there. You got his name, of course. You got Elite 89. You got the Elite logo. Love this new packaging, as I've said before. You got Damian Priest, a little glamour shot on the side. Looking like he's just been bumping out to some uh, Bad Bunny and uh, talking about things in Puerto Rico. Talking about the Colognes, maybe. Uh, reminiscent about some bloody Carlos Colon, Abdullah the Butcher matches from way back in the day. Uh, and then you got the side with the blue, everything else there. And then, of course, the back. You got the glamour shot. You got the tail of the tape. You got the blurb. You got the cross sell. All the fun stuff we love on the back of the package. A little bit airy here. I, I don't know if they could have moved this so it's a little bit longer. It just looks a little empty, but eh, beggars can't be choosers, as they say. Tail of the tape from New York, New York, six foot five, two hundred forty nine pounds. Finisher off of Metallica, Kill 'Em All. Hit the lights, of course. Uh, career highlights: NXT North American Champion. Well, you can add US Champion to that now. The Archer of Infamy successfully defended his North American Championship against Johnny Gargano at NXT TakeOver 31. And he does have a pretty cool uh, stage entrance where he does a little bow and arrow thing and it lights up the screen. That's a pretty cool technology thing that people didn't have back in the day. So I unbox this one. Let's go through the bottom this time. I'm trying to figure out the best way to unbox these now. Uh, where we used to have just one piece of tape here, now we got one here, one here, one here. So I went through the bottom on this one. So we'll see how this looks. That might be the way to go. It might be Black Series time. That's how I unbox my Black Series figures. I might need to go through the bottom. I don't know. Verdict's still out. See you later. We'll get it figured out one of these days, though. But there's Damian Priest, looking only like he can look. Purple power, it's in. He loves the power of purple. We've got a... Uh, he's locked in, of course. We've got to cut him out a few times on the legs, the arms. We get a lot of accessories here. We get extra hands. We get the uh, jacket on him, all that fun stuff. So let's pull him out of the package here got come on there it is i believe he was originally from puerto rico and moved to new york i'm not sure exactly how that works i don't know get this out of here get this out of here we got rubber bands everywhere unbelievable they want him they didn't want him getting out see you later up high there it is damian priest what do we got here so hand wise we've got a fisted hand bravo we've got an open hand and then we've got two uh 
jazz hands. Yes, jazz hands. He does do the jazz hand dance every once in a blue moon. So we got those. So we got all kinds of choose your adventure hands. And then we got a gripping hand and another fisted hand on him. So they went all out in the hands department here. I would have liked to seen some of those hands maybe given to some other characters, some of those fisted hands, but it is what it is. But they really went all out on this Damian Priest. And I don't know if it's because it's the first time in the elite line is uh, the reason. Uh, or they felt like they just needed to. I'm not sure. But I'm glad they did. Because I do like the looks of this. The silver and the purple. Extremely uh, beautiful colors together. And then the black jacket really setting it all off. Jacket is removable as well. Head is removable on all these as you guys know. He does come with a necklace as well over him. So a lot of accessories. A lot of detail. He does have these uh, forearm guard things on him. Those are removable as well. So there's just a lot of bells and whistles to this figure. I like the looks of it. They did get his tattoo work. Uh, very strong tattoos on him. No color in his tattoos, at least that you can really see on TV. So it does look accurate to me. He does have the double jointed elbows and he has pinless joints. So they really did all the bells and whistles on this Damian Priest. They wanted to come out hot uh, with him. All the typical articulation you get in the elites. Head scan, spot on. Spot on. The eyes, that's the one we've had some issues with this. A little bit of shifty eyes in Elite 89. But the eyes on this one look fabulous. It looks really good. He's got kind of a, a Elvis Presley curl going on. A little bit of a smirk going on. But it looks all right. Good hair. I mean, this looks like Damian Priest shrunk down into figure form. I mean, it looks perfect. They even got the tape on his fingers he wears on just that uh, middle finger there. So I think that is a cool touch as well. I'm sure he'll fit on a ringside collectible stand. I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. Man, this is a solid, solid figure. This is going to be at the top of the list. You guys know at the end of the week, I rank all these figures from my favorite to my least favorite. And we do a quick wrap-up discussion. i got to think this is going to be on the top of the list. And I'm not a huge Damian Priest fan. I'm not going to say he's changed my life. Maybe if you put a little face paint on, I'm, we might talk, but... A lot to like about this. You can really pull out the personality with the hands with this one. Uh, we talk about it all the time. Sometimes hands are just hands. Sometimes they add enough to give a, a little personality to the figure. And you can do the old bow and arrow thing with him, especially with the double jointed pinless elbows. That's going to really help in some of that articulation out there. I mean, if you're a kid playing, you're in the glory days of playing right now. You have so much articulation. I don't know if I was a kid, I would know what to do with all this articulation. Playing with the Hasbro's LJNs as a small kid, you were pretty up to your imagination. Now you don't don't have to you can really twist and bend and turn these figures into playability into the moves you want to do pretty much at any time which boy it's crazy it's crazy how things have went and we're in 2021 now we think oh my gosh these figures will never get better than this well 20 years from now it's going to be just a whole new ball game and these are going to feel like old titan trons by then i'm sure so it's just crazy how things keep evolving and that's what you got to have constant learning constant improvement in whatever you do and mattel is no different jazz wears is no different hasbro mattel whoever want to talk about constant learnings constant improvements that's what moves the business forward at the end of the day in all industries not just the action figure game but I'm calling this one a top-notch Damien Priest. I'm sure we got more Damien Priest to come. I wouldn't be shocked if, you know, like four sets from now we get another Damien Priest with a U.S. title. Different gear. He does have some Toyetic gear. He's got some good colors to him every once in a while. Didn't he wear a, a really shiny green at one time? I think that was a pretty solid color as well. Uh, so I got to think his future is so bright he might have to wear shades. Very possibly. Maybe he'll join up with Bad Bunny next year once again at WrestleMania. But this figure, extremely strong. I do think this will sell very well. I do think Elite Series 89 is a very strong set, and I can't wait to rank these at the end. It might be one of the more challenging rankings that we've had to do in these Elite lineups uh, over the last year. So there you go. There it is. Elite Series 89, Damian Priest. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this WWE Elite Series 89 unboxing and review. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. For Elite Series 89, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.